We've made a thorough inspection of the wreckage, Your Majesty. There is no sign of Admiral Taylor or his ship. Two hundred ships at my disposal, yet the one carrying my son goes missing! What of their last message? Show me whatever you have. We have been drawn off course! Board air fleet! Any casualties! Shipwrecked on an uncharted isle! But the White Pawn is accounted for! Repeat, the White Pawn is safe! And doing. Surprise attack! Requesting immediate if anyone's received! Sir, the Seventh Fleet has already been dispatched, but it could take weeks before it... There's no time to waste. We'll send a small elite force to secure this new land and bring back my son. Hey guys, Lauscast here, and in case you missed it, what you just watched was the Alliance intro to Mist of Pandaria. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be going over my first impressions of the game, what sort of experience I've had, and all that kind of good stuff. So we started off on Monday night at 11pm as it went live at midnight Central European time. I did get a couple of the times wrong in the previous video, I did, I'll admit. <laughs> but I was 100% sure and there was all kinds of things over the website. It's going live now, no it's going live now, no it's going live now. But we eventually ended up realising that it was midnight Central European time so we did try to log on to Outlad at 11pm our time and we just couldn't log on. There was crashes every two minutes. Once you got into the game, it would just crash, or your loading bar would stick at 90% for ages. Anyway, eventually, at about 1.30 a.m. our time, we were actually able to log into Outland. I wasn't going for any sort of like world first, server first achievements or anything like that, so I didn't really care. I just wanted to level up my own pace and enjoy the actual game content. So we got in, myself, Rags, there was a couple of others joining us as well. And we started doing all the Alliance quests, the first few in Stormwind, yada yada. We got to Pandaria, and then there was a bug in one of the quests. Basically, you had to get in this gyrocopter, shoot down some orcs or something, and the weapon on the gyrocopter did zero damage to anything. The tools have even said zero damage. How can you make that much of a mistake upon launch? I do not know. I'm, I hope the guys playing Horde had nothing like this. Um, we didn't even know where to progress to because whenever we jumped off the giant airship we were in, it just teleported us back up. So we decided to instance level 85 to 86. We had sort of planned this anyway, but we didn't have a tank with us. So we're like, we'll go along with quests, we'll queue for dungeons. But then we just started instance leveling all night. We must have done Stormstout Brewery about 20, 30 times. And it did get a, a bit frustrating just doing the same thing over and over again. And the other dungeon as well, which I can't even remember the name of. That's how much I actually care about these dungeons now. The fact that it was just really repetitive. About 5am I did hit level 86, which was nice. It was actually quite quick. About 4 hours time I managed to get into a good group who just wanted to instance level. And everyone on the server was just instance leveling at this point. So I got to 86. We went to Valley of the Four Winds. And I started to actually get to play Mists of Pandaria, not do dungeon grind. And I started to really enjoy myself. The quests were really good. If you enjoy leveling, I think this is probably one of the best expansions for leveling. You'll really enjoy the way the quests work, the way everything's really close together. You go to one little area to complete about three quests, which is really, really awesome in my mind. It's not spread out. You don't have those really long, stupid quest chains which you had in Wrath of the Lich King. And everything just isn't as spread out as it was in Cataclysm, which I found while leveling. So yeah, I started to actually enjoy the game for what it was worth and really started to enjoy myself until I, I came across a quest which made me actually cringe and that was to plant some cabbages I shit you not this is an actual quest you can go look this up on Wahed or whatever plant some cabbages in the ground and wait 24 hours for them to grow I'm sorry but as well turned into a farmville or something here I wasn't entirely sure what was going on I just ignored the quest I just deleted it from my quest log I wasn't gonna just stand there and dance for 24 hours or whatever and I continued questing on now someone mentioned to me I was streaming at the time that there's a bit of a bug with Alterac Valley where you can get a lot of XP by just rushing and zerging the boss so we went and did that a little bit got all the way up to 87 which was nice doing that and then that got hot fixed but if you still took all three towers and killed the bosses it was on call to arms you got a million XP anyway. You can't do this now, by the way. This is no good tip for now. This has been fixed and it's no longer on Call to Arms. So we did some AVs. We did some more leveling through quests. We did a 
the odd dungeon run. Now, normally when I when I've been leveling in the past, uh, I've never really played a hunter in PVE. All you guys don't remember, I level 85 free BGs. I have previously on my warrior, I've done a lot of instance grind for leveling. I, I just found it really fast and stuff like that. The XP we were getting from the dungeons that we were doing just didn't seem comparable to the actual questing. And I was getting really into the questing. I was really enjoying doing the quest for the most part. And so I only did like a couple of other dungeon runs at that point on and just continued on doing for the questing. We were on Skype and stuff like that, chatting away, talk talking about the game. We did, we did a massive live stream, guys. I'll try to post some highlights from it up here because there were, were a couple of funny instances and stuff like that. But I streamed literally, um, I think, probably in the region of about 32 hours on TGM World of Warcraft. It was going to be a big event, so I thought I'd put it up on TGM WoW and just go for it. And we've been doing it every night. I'm level 90 now on my Hunter, which is good. And I also want to ask you guys, like, what do you want to see from me on my Hunter now? Because... I'm starting to formulate series ideas in my head, new expansion and all, bring you guys out some hopefully really good content and stuff like that. Do you want to see me doing BGs, like BG commentary, stuff like that? Do you want me to see me going for some really high arena rating? Do you want to see more sort of guide based stuff like macros, rotation, things like that? Just let me know in the comments below. And like I say, I've actually really enjoyed leveling a miss. That, that, that's all there is to it. I'd recommend getting the game. Even if you're just a, like a casual player or whatever, just to do the leveling. It's actually quite interesting. There's some nice little bits of lore in there as well, which I, I'm not a massive lore head in WoW. I, I kind of gave up on, on the lore of WoW around Wrath of the Lich King, but I can see the way they're trying to sort of integrate that back into the game. And it's it's quite nicely done through some of the quests. So, yeah, definitely, definitely check out the game. You know, I'm also thinking about leveling up a monk. I was never a fan of Death Knight in Wrath of the Lich King, but... It's just something about monks that just makes me want to play them. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think it might be because I'm thinking oh, I want to tank as a brewmaster or do DPS. I'll never heal him. Well, I'm the world's worst healer. Never, ever ask me to heal anything. So, but I am really tempted to start leveling amongst that. Maybe something else I could possibly explore. I'm going to have a few bits from the live stream being uploaded to the channel, like dungeon runs, stuff like that. You might be able to get a little bit of help or little quests and little funny moments. So yeah, this has been put together just now, just to give my sort of first impressions. And yep, the game's good. Thanks for watching all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.